Hello and welcome to Demon's Forge. For this kit bash video, I am working on building two Tau Fire Warriors for a 50 points kill team. When I bought the previous XV8 kit, the sprues for a Piranha Light Skimmer and some leftover Fire Warrior sprues were also part of my purchase. Near everything I use in this kit bash is from those spare bits in addition to the leftovers of the XV8. My kill team is from the Dal If Sept, and will be led by a Shazwi Fire Warrior. Currently you've been watching me build the Shazla Sniper, who will have a DS-8 tactical support turret armed with a missile pod. At the sacrifice of movement, I have a solid bit of firepower. I built the turret by using elements of a gun drone and a Tau Piranha forward weapons module. While not a perfect copy of the official model, I certainly feel it gets the job done. As I started building the Shaz Wii, I ran into a problem. Neither of the remaining legs looked right on the base. It was at this point, I had an idea. I'm making these look how I want. Why can't I do some more brutal conversion work, eh? And so I did. I severed these legs to make a pair more fit for my purposes. It took some cutting and filing, but eventually I got to a point where the legs looked right, with suitable space for the hooves to be glued down. I decided to give the Shazui a quick blue tack test bit. The leader has to look their best, right? I wasn't too sure what to do with the left arm. I figured holding a comms device would be best. The oversized antenna ensuring the field data is safely encrypted and sent to local command. Most squad leaders end up with some sort of scarring, and a simple cut to the cheek is nice and simple in my opinion.
Like how space marines adorn themselves with gaudier icons of purity and loyalty, I noticed Tau seemed to tend towards additional armor plates, possibly ablative in nature. I used the knee pad pieces to create this detail, and while it seems clunky and maybe a hindrance, it works to mark him as a significant figure. With the Shazui nearly done, time for a sneaky quick tutorial on how I made the pulse pistols. I started with a pulse rifle. Remove the scope on top and flatten the surface down. Remove the magazine and stock by cutting here and here. The majority of the barrel is unnecessary, so cut it off here. You will need this front portion of the barrel, which according to my wiki sources is the recoil absorption dampener. Clean the cut edges and carefully glue together. The leftover sculpt of the scope actually helps keep the gun level in my experience. Similar could be done with pulse carbines, but those require extra steps due to the grenade launcher. Just some finishing touches to do, as well as final assembly of the missile turret. Overall, I really like the look of these guys. They have a different look to them compared to how I initially thought of making these models when I first got the sprues. I'm thankful I waited a little bit of time and, and experimented with my kill team patrol list. I feel these models are going to be nice and unique on the tabletop. I will include a kill team list in the video description. Remember, this is just for 50 points, so though it looks like I've got a few models, it doesn't really count to much. Thanks for watching this video on building my Tau Kill Team. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more wargaming content. Wish to support me? Please check out my Patreon. And don't forget to check out my Twitter. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.